already heard me speak, and I was just planning on making the introdu introductory remarks. It's a little bit too late for that, but just um, before the seal, I want to say that <coughs> Chazal tell us that there's a big success to um, say Kaddish in memory of someone who, who is Nifter, but they also tell us that even a bigger discuss is learning the Mishnahis. Mishnahis is something that like we know the mission of Isaiah's Neshama, the biggest cause that one could do. You know, what Jesse mentioned, we see him as special because of the fact that all of the people who learn the Mishnahis are um, in the family, the children, the grandchildren, great grandchildren. The, um, I had actually an interesting question, I got a little wound in the end. You know, I, when I tried getting uh, people to speak, I got, uh, I mean, people to uh, do the Mishnahis. I had 41 uh, participants between uh, everybody. And then I had um, four people, uh, four of the great grandchildren who weren't going to take their own receptor, but they were going to do an overlap of what someone else did or just help out a little bit. So I was thinking that um, 41. That's um, that's um, um, 41 Mem Aleph, and then the four more people, that's 45, that's Mem Hey. So I was thinking very appropriate for the occasion, Mem Aleph, Mem Hey. And then um, about, a, uh, about a week ago, um, I got an email from someone that said that their, their child forgot the, you know, to participate and they wanted to take another parent. So that a little bit wounded, but um, at least it was good for you know to start. But as I mentioned, there were. Um, there were 41 uh, different people taking receptors here. Um, I just, before making the seal, I wanted to um, acknowledge the, uh, the fact that my mother was unable to, um, to attend today. I think she might be watching it. Uh, um, and, and, you know, if she would have uh, loved to be here, um, I think about two thirds of the Mishnahis were learned by people in her family. And um, I would like to wish her a special day. Um, the specialness of such a seam, I think you could see in the last Mishnah. The last Mishnah says, I'm Rabbi Shubham Levi, Asir HaKad Shbarku, Lahanko, Chosadik, Misadik, Shalosh, Meyaz, Vasara, Lamas. Shinema, Lahanko, Oye, Vayesh. Those are saying, Mama, Yesh is Gemara, Shem, 310. And the Mishnah says, the Dev Pasuk, Lahanko, Oye, Vayesh, is telling us about 310 worlds, whatever that means, that will be given to each side. So you have to understand, first of all, what does it mean to each um, side, what does a person have to do to, to get to these worlds, and also, what is the significance of the number 310? And the Tutei R points out that this is said by Rabbi Shubham Levi. Rabbi Shubham Levi was not a Tana, and yet the last mission here is quoting Rabbi Shubham Levi. Rabbi Shubham Levi was not a minor. And he explains that really, this Mishnah was only put in afterwards by the Amurai. This is not really the last Mishnah, but it was just an appropriate way to end. And that's why this Mishnah is found here at the, at the end of the Mishnah. It's an appropriate way to end. It explains that the number 310 is significant. And because there are 310 Prakim in all of the, um, the in all of the, um, the, the, the Gemara. Not every, there's more Prakim in the Mishnah, but in the Gemara there's 310 Prakim that yeah, the Gemara was written on. And the Amorai put this here at the end to show us that the way to get to the, the, the Olamas, the Shin Yud Olamas, is through learning, uh, through learning the uh, Tarsha al through learning the Gemara. The question is, it's not so easy for each person to learn 310 Prakim. So he says that the idea that Misha is telling us is that when a person joins together with others, and he does part of it, so we find the Gemara says in Shabbos, for example, the Gemara says when someone has a, a malacha that is unable for him to do, he's unable to do the malacha himself, and he gets someone else to join with him. Since that other person needed his help, so because the other person needed his help, what, what that means is that I'm an important part here. as if I did the malacha myself, because somebody else needs me. So even though I'm not doing the whole thing, it's considered zayn yafel zayn yafel is considered like I did the whole malacha myself. And he says the same thing when it comes to learning 310 Prakim, it might not be it's so possible for one person. But even if it's not possible for one person when they join together as a group to do it, it's Zen Yafel, Zen Yafel, it becomes something that each one of them, the whole side of each one of them that participated in such a thing, there's Zaika to these Elamas. 
And then I think is is the the specialness of this CM. This CM is uh, in 30 days. It's impossible. Each person would want to learn the, all the Mishnayos. It's impossible when we join together. It's each person finishing it together. Zayn Yach was Yach finishing the entire uh, Shisha Sedar. And like the Nishmas Yisrael writes that it, it, it's typical that people give away the Mishnayos to, to other people out of the family. But he says that they're giving away the Zchus, that the real Zchus is only when it, when it comes from within. And that's the, the idea of the of the Hanfu of the 310 Alamas. Misha continues, Amar of Shimon ben Talafta, Le Matzah Kashbarfu, Kli Maxit Bracha, Le Yisrael Ela HaShalom, Shenemar, Adonai Oizah Amar Yitain, Adonai Vardas Ela HaShalom. Again, appropriate ending here on that same theme. The ending is that what is Shalom? Shalom is when people join together for Avayt Hashem. Right in the first passage of the Torah, we're talking about the Shemayim. The Shemayim is something that's made up of different things that join together to, to do Avayt Hashem. That uh, joining together, a Shemayim is Saprim Kavayt Kel. The Shemayim talks about the, the covenant of Hashem where there's a Kiddush Shem Shemayim. The, the uh, Shemayim is, the, is what represents um, uh, joining together for Avayt Hashem, and that is what what this uh, idea this uh, idea of this seum is. Mishnah is the same gematria that the Farshim tell us as Hashemayim, because when we join together for the Mishnayos, that is what brings about the Shemayim, the Sapim Kavaykel. That's what brings about the Kiddush Shem Shemayim, we can join together in a. In a a project that could bring Kavayi Shemayim, that could bring a key to Shem Shemayim. I just want to end before the, the, the Hajj, just a short point, I know that, that, that it's a little late. I just want to um, mention that, that, that when it comes to the Shin Yod Lamas that we talk about here, the Mepharshim tell us that the Shin Yod Lamas, the Gemara asks, Nashim B'may Zafim, how do ladies get there? The Gemara tells us there's two ways. Number one, they adjust their schedules to accommodate that their husbands could get to the, those alumnus. Number two is through the FINA that they see to it that their children are provided with. And at this CM, we, we, we need to uh, think about these ideas of somebody who <coughs> sought both of these things. In terms of the Shin Yud Prakim, that? In terms of the Shin Yud Prakim of, of, um, of um, of the Shas, we know that for decades that was something that that was something that um, was in the family that Papa did and that Mama stood behind, and it was something that she encouraged her, her uh, family members to do. And we um, we um, realize that these Shunyur Lamas that, that only come from Lima Taira is something that she was part of, and all of our learning that we did in her zuchos should all be something that leads to this lahan kolay by yesh. Hadron alav shishas shishas to the initial and perfect lot. Daikin alav shishas to the initial. 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 Leiva amadei leiva amadei. Hadron alav shishas to the initial. Daikin alav shishas to the initial.